Hi, in this tutorial, we're designing game controllers. Imagine for a second there was a company called Geo, whose games are filled with geometrical shapes and things like that, math shapes. So our design needs to reflect those. To start off with, you'll need a pencil, an eraser, and a splat. Let's start off with a cube. Remember, there's three steps for drawing a cube. Trace around the bottom. Step two. And step three, completing the far edges. Now we're going to draw another cube right beside it. Notice how I'm touching the edge of the splat on the other drawing. So the corners will be touching. Great. That's going to be what we'll base our design around. Two cubes. This will be our first concept. Replacing the splat back in that original position, trace around the oval or ellipse, and that's where the joystick's going to be located. You'll notice I've got the splat rotated a bit so that ellipse, the small one, is always flat or horizontal. So come down a little bit with an extra mark, trace off a little curve, and then run that curve all the way around behind, just touching the top of the small ellipse. So that's where I'm going to rest my thumb on the top of the joystick. Place a couple of marks how uh, wide you'd like the stalk and finish it off with a small ellipse. Now I'm firming or darkening in a little bit more of the detail. Let's try something a little different on the left hand cube. We'll draw an oval or ellipse like before, but I'm going to run a line from diagonal to diagonal and just mark off four positions. And those positions are going to be the center for some buttons. I'm going to draw four buttons, one of them on each of those points. Again, make sure you're using that uh, small ellipse flat or horizontal. Now I'm going to make the buttons look as if they've got some thickness, so they're standing up just a little. So I'm marking off a tiny bit underneath, and then I'm tracing half an ellipse just under each of them. I wonder what amazing designs or concepts you'll come up with. Buttons, switches, or something totally original. I'm rounding off the corners, and I'm joining the two cubes with a curve. It's important if you're holding something in your hand that um, sharp corners don't feel really uncomfortable, so I'm rounding all that off. But not so much that you can't see that the concept's based on my two cubes. Once you've rounded off all the corners, then come back with a nice neat line and firm in. You could use a ruler if you want, but why not have a go at freehand? Great, now I've got some lines that I'll need to erase. On the top ellipse, you'll notice four little dots or bumps around it, and those mark in the positions of one quarter of an ellipse. So I'm using that to guide me as I draw in a button right on the corner. I'm coming from the edge around to the very first mark. So that's a bit tricky, but that's what a button would look like as it's disappearing around the corner. On the sides of the cube, or the face, um, you would just use straight lines to draw a button in those positions. And here's my second concept. I'm using the bottom of the splat to mark three positions, and on those dots I'm drawing in three ellipses. You could draw your ellipses and your cylinders anywhere you wanted. This is just um, my quick concept. I'm using the pencil to help slide the splat straight down, and I'm turning each of those into cylinders. Now I'm sketching in a line to, to just neatly join all of those three together to make a triangular kind of shape. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Now in concept one, I explain how to draw uh, the, the joystick idea, so I'm gonna place one there. And here I'm drawing a cross shape 
and then I'm thickening it into like a rubber four-way button control. I'm removing some lines now and I'm going to tie that up. I'm actually using the, the splat to get those curves nice and neat. And then I'll come back and join in between with a firmer line. For this concept, I'm going to base it on a rectangular prism. So I'm using the two splat angles to draw a rectangle. And then from each of those three corners, I'm dropping a line straight down. And those lines should be roughly the same length. I'm connecting the ends of those lines and there's my rectangular prism. On this side, I'm drawing an ellipse and uh, going with the joystick controller idea. You guys might be able to come up with some new type of um, interactive game controller. I'm drawing a cross in 3D. That's how I use the two isometric lines. And I'm thickening those on the same angles to draw one of those four-way buttons. From each of the corners, drop a short line straight down if you want it to have that 3D kind of look and then join each of those lines. So you're making a copy of the cross, just slid down a little bit. Great. I'm going to go uh, with a more organic, like half a circle curve on each end. So start off with a light line and then sketch in your, um, your design. Instead of a straight line there, I'm just rounding that off slightly. And the idea is that it fits sort of nicely in your hand. Let's add some, some graphics, some little printed on decorations there. Maybe you could come up with a name and a logo for your game company design. I'm imagining some buttons on the end there that I could push in. Buttons, of course, don't need to be round. They could be any shape. And now for my last concept, I'm going to move away from a strictly geometric object, even though I'm starting with two cylinders. Notice how these cylinders aren't side by side. They are, but slid back on an angle. I'm connecting those a little, and now I'm just imagining kind of a, a lumpy, organic um, and not hard line shape. On the left one and the right one, I'm going to put a little joystick controller. I'm going to need some buttons. Oh, little fix up there. So the main thing is don't do your dark line until you're happy with your idea. That's the best way to draw. That's a center line going right across the middle. That helps me decide on where to put those buttons. Great. Have fun with this. I can't wait to see some of your ideas for your game controllers. Thanks, guys. Bye.